After you've set up a workbook to be shared, you can keep track of all the changes made by various users of that workbook. The workbook we're looking at right now has an unusual name, 11-workbook after sharing set up, meaning this workbook has already had sharing set up. It's got one worksheet in called vendor sales. Now, what we'd like to be able to do is track changes. That's one of the reasons that we set up sharing. Multiple users will be using this. We want to track what changes are being made to it. Now, in prior versions of Excel, you would have seen on the review tab a track changes feature, but it's not here anymore. You might have seen in the previous movie how we resurrected a feature out of the past. We do this by going to the Quick Access Toolbar, rightmost button, Customize Quick Access Toolbar. Go down to More Commands, and in this dialog box, choose Commands from Commands Not in the Ribbon or All Commands. Slide down into the letter T, and we will see Track Changes. It's a legacy feature, just the way Share Workbook is. You might have seen that in the prior movie. Click OK. There we are. Let's click this button for Track Changes. Highlight Changes. Now, this might strike you as a little bit strange. If you did not share a workbook, by choosing to track changes, you automatically will share your workbook. Nevertheless, this is a shared workbook. We're going to be tracking changes. And so at different times, you will think out about how often you want to do this, since I last saved all this sort of thing. I'll just leave it at all. If you got multiple users, you could track this down by name. I could check everybody else. Eventually, you'll see a list of other names in here if you allow this to be shared by others. You could narrow down where you want to observe the changes, maybe just in certain columns or in certain sheets, that sort of thing. I'm going to leave the Who box unchecked. Just keep this at all. Highlight changes on the screen. Eventually, we might even want to list these on a new sheet. Let's click OK. This action will now save the workbook. Do you want to continue? OK. Let's do. OK. I'm going to make a change. For example, in cell D7, this purple should have been blue. I'll just double click in here and change that to blue. And as I press enter, that looks a little different now. I click away from it a bit. Slide over this a bit later. I'm making this change on August 8th of 2018. You see the change and the description of what I changed it from and to. It's going to be handy. The second of the 15s over here has to be changed to a 20. And I'll tab over and make another change. These four entries here should all be Wyoming. Got them all highlighted. I'll type WI. And then because there's multiple cells, I'll press Control Enter instead of Enter. So I've got some changes there. Imagine we made a few more, a few more, and so on. If we go back to the Track Changes button, Highlight Changes, we could list the changes on a new sheet. But as we click OK, we might be reminded only changes which have been saved can be listed on the history sheet. OK, let's save this workbook. There's the Save button, Quick Access Toolbar, or Control-S. Now let's come back here, highlight these changes. List changes on a new sheet. Click OK. And there we are, a list of all the changes. By the way, you can track changes if you are the only user. You might have a workbook and you simply want to set up track changes so that you know what you've been doing. Maybe others aren't involved at all. But in a real-life situation, there probably would be. And so what you also should do is sit down with your coworkers, maybe start off with only two or three people, set up a test file, kick these ideas back and forth a little bit, change some cells, look back and forth, see what's happening. And there's some other features that we don't have time to get into in detail, but do note as we go back to track changes, we could accept or reject changes as well. And we can look at all of them by everyone. And as we click OK here, we'll have a list. And one by one, we could either accept this one or accept all of them, reject them, and go through the entire list of changes. So I think you see the potential value of this. And so, as we can see, this ability to track changes made to a workbook by multiple users, even if it's only you, gives you that all-important paper trail that we so often need when we work with files in Excel.